Hi everybody, and welcome to this video, Carving Expressions on Your Wood Spirit, Part 2. If you haven't seen the first video, please go back and refer to that one first, because we're going to start right where we left off in the last video. Here we go. All right, I got my knife. Put it to the side here in case I want to clean it up more. I cleaned up this corner just a little bit so I can draw there. I'm going to put a couple of teeth in and I'm going to use the marker so hopefully you guys can see. We're going to start small here. And hopefully he'll come out pretty close to uh, what we drew. I just like doing faces. Uh, they're great practice. And changing them up like this really makes a difference back here. Like I said, if you guys, I'm going on the bottom here and doing some teeth. And I'm not giving this guy a gum line like in the last video. I'm just going to put some teeth down here. One big one here. And then again, a little one. Okay. And then once that gets all colored in black, we'll have a pretty close to a design that we drew on the paper. Don't worry, because that's all going to get carved away, all right? So we'll figure something out. All right, so now, up here also, we're going to do the eyes. Don't worry, but we're going to do it after. Don't want to lose any lines here. We're going to do it afterwards, once we have that deep enough to actually put the eye in, all right? So now we have to take this down and really, really try to... Get the type of design that we want in that eye all right so i'm going to take all that down and make this deeper before we start doing this and drawing design on or details okay okay now if I, if I was using a hand tool on this what i would do is i would take a gouge all right and i would scoop i would scoop out and make that deeper okay because the gouge is rounded all right so let me show you kind of on this side a little bit See how I could get that down and get it underneath the stop cut there and a little at a time just dig it down with the gouge. Now if you're going to use the power, what we'll do is put a ball in the Dremel, a small ball, all right, and use it to dig that and hollow that out. Try and keep your eyebrow line. Keep above that cheek that we drew in, okay? We want to make a pretty deep impression here. I'm going to do the same over here. Right? We're going to make this whole socket hollowed out. Up on the nose here, we're going to try and tuck the nose under those eyebrows and keep this part in between lower than the eyebrows. Okay. 
All right, now we're getting some room for these eyes. Now we can start drawing in. I'm going to shake this a little bit more because I want to have pretty flat here so I can uh, draw the details on the eyes. So hold on. Let me clean that up. Okay, and I took out the center here in the forehead too because I want these eyebrows to stand up and that's all going to come down and get sloped underneath the top here. Okay? All right, now, before... Where's my marker? Before I actually do the eyes, I want to draw a line here because I want to keep that. I'm going to come straight over and this is actually going to go up here because I do want to cut that nose in and leave this space in between so we don't want to lose where our eyebrows go okay so I'm just kind of retouching up my design I look back at it again and I want to make sure that I have that now right here on this side I'm going to draw if I can hold it here so you can see I'm going to draw the upper lid of this eye Like that. And then we're going to hook this part here. We're going to hook. So it's kind of a heavier eyelid at the bottom of that eye. All right. Then we're going to pretty much come straight across here, keeping the eye pretty small. Okay. And all this up top will be eyelid. We're going to have to dig it in pretty good. All right. And down here, of course, we'll make bags and stuff. Same on this side. I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to make it raise up some. And go down some. And then pretty much go straight across. But leave yourself enough room to make an eye. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and we'll dig this out and make sure up here is a, a pretty good eyelid. And again, once this comes over, I'm going to try and hook this down and attach it to that. So he's got this piece of fat that hangs over and, it, and that's all eyelid on top. But they kind of hook down and out. I might make this one a little longer. All right. And then we're going to do that. The nose is going to get pushed up under the eyebrows. All right. Now, remember in one of the drawing videos that I had made... And I was giving you tips I had shown you guys. Pretty sure it was a walking stick video. These little micro drill bits. Okay. If you haven't seen them, you can go back and watch that video. It's the walking stick video where I explain how these things can get into really tight corners and stuff. I'm going to use this so we can see if we can come up with... Because this is a pretty small wood spirit. So I'm going to try and use this and get some pretty good depth above these eyes and trying to cut these uh eyelids out because he's pretty tiny and i need something pretty precision so i'm going to use this bit all right let's see if we can do it without breaking them they snap easy also going to undercut the eyebrows a little bit and go around it See how that's cutting that out in there? I'm trying to keep them so you can see me do it, but I have to face it up like this because you got to go straight in. Right? So, let's see if I can get right over top. Right. And then under the eyelid here. And the eyebrow.
Same on the other side here. Went that a little deeper. Well, I got a lot of stuff in my way here. I got the camera in my way. I'm trying to show you guys in the light. But underneath there, you can start to see where, if I hold it like this, where it is did cut underneath there. And now I can push it up and under. And it's just kind of hard because I should have them straight on when I'm doing this. But I want you guys to see. So I'm going to have to figure out better camera angles, angles for you guys. But we have that cut in. And we got the eyes definitely cut in what we have to do now is take that eye down and that eye down so the eyelids raise all right <clears throat> the eyelids would be here all right these are the eyelids i want them to really stand out we're gonna have to shape the nose down a little bit too but uh and i find that's best for hand tools so we are going to mix some hand tools in this video we're going to have no choice or i'm not going to end up with too good of a wood spirit <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take my knife and cut this corner out here. I'm going to put a hole, not a hole, but a cut right here in the corner. And up here where that's already cut in, there's a stop cut there. So I'm going to take a chip out right in that corner there to round that eyeball off and try and push it up. And now I'm going to try and push this eyeball up and underneath that stop cut. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to cut a corner out here, cut this corner out, there and there, make it a V cut, and then pop that chip out to give the appearance of roundness in that eyeball, okay? And then we can start shaping that eyeball on the bottom here when I cut that bottom lid out, all right? But we do have to get that eyeball up and under where we just cut. So that's what I'm doing. Just kind of rounding them around. And taking the corners out. And that's all. Alright. I'm going to do the same on this side. And I give him a little bit of a V cut. By stabbing my knife in that corner. Stabbing it in there. Make sure you keep that eye lid. All right, you want to go underneath that. And pop that corner out so the eye starts rounding. We're going to do the same by the nose here. I'm going to turn them around this way. One. Two. And then we're going to try and get that corner out. All right, this one's going to round up pretty good. The other one, I might need a little more work. It is hard trying to carve and keep the camera angle, so pardon me, guys. This is a very small wood spirit. I should have made him on a bigger piece, but that's okay. Just so you guys can see him, and uh, I could work on him <laughs> without messing him up for you. This eye still isn't round enough, so I need to slope that down a little bit more. All right, take more out in this corner here. Because I'm just not getting what I want there. All right. Okay, now that's coming. Getting some depth in the corner there. Okay. All right, so that's basically what I'm doing there. What I'm going to do next 
has come down here to the mouth and we're gonna try and do these teeth. But before we do that, I wanna take this lip up and under the nose. So I'm gonna stop cut around the nose a little deeper. After I push this up, we'll see how far deep we have to go. So I'm just gonna push that up with my knife and see how much we need to take that nose out to really make this mouth stand out. Or the nose stand out, I mean, we can't lose the nose. Okay, what I did was I put a diamond bit, and it's a, I would usually use a flame shape or something like this, but since these are teeth, I want kind of a sharper edge, so this is kind of a, a diamond cylinder bit. And I'm going to try and carve some of these teeth out here, so let's see how that works. Oh yeah, that'll work. All right, we're gonna use this bit. Okay, now I got to readjust my design here because I got a little ahead of myself and I lost some of my teeth. My head keeps hitting this. Hold on. I got to take that off. I keep bumping the camera. I'm sorry. Hard for me to see holding it at the angle here. So I screwed this up. So what I'm going to do is just redrill some teeth in there. <sighs> Let me see my design here. I did have them going. Something like that. Okay. Now let's see if we can fix this here. Okay, now I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to pop some of this out here. If you have, uh, see this high spot here? So I can get at the rest of those teeth. If I had been using my knife right off the start, I wouldn't have messed that up. But I, it's hard for me to see. I have a light shining on this, trying to keep it so you guys can see. And at the same time, it's kind of hitting me in the face and blinding me. And my eyes ain't that good as it is when I'm getting close like this. So, excuse me for that. And up in here, I'll fix all that up. The basic idea is to cut out your teeth. Get the mouth lower than the teeth, of course, so the teeth stick up. And once we do that, we'll be accomplishing what we're trying to do. There we go. And up in here, I have to definitely make a stop cut. I really have trouble trying to film yet with stuff in my way, but pretty soon the camera will be on the ceiling and this I won't have a problem. That's the plan. Okay. I'm gonna check my design here a little bit. <sighs> Once I blow all the dust off him. And he's starting to look okay. I think we should end up with pretty much him looking like I want. All right, I'm gonna stop, cut around the mouth a little bit with my knife, and I'm gonna take some of this wood out here. If you're using a drill or a Fordham, I recommend another. Uh, ball bit and just come around we could even take a v-tool and reinforce that so we have a harder line if you want a hand tool uh, part to it if i can find my v-tool where or oh, where is my v-tool yeah, a quarter inch v-tool i guess 
All right, I'm going to take the V-tool and I'm going to run around the mouth on the outside here. All right, you can do this by taking it down with the Dremel also. With the bit of your choice, you could use a cylinder bit and cut that line in, or you could even take the ball and go around. All right, it's not going to make a hard cut like that, but it will blend everything in. I'm just trying to set that in. <sighs> okay. And I want this hard line right here for the mouth to get cut in. So I'm going to do that also. With the V-tool while it's in my hand. Okay. I don't want to lose that. Yeah. All the way up to here, I think I'm going to go with this guy. And on this side, we're just going to let him go down into the wood when we cut that out. All right. Now, you can cut up to it with your knife. Or like I said, you can take the, uh, the small ball... All right, whatever we're using. I'm going to take some wood out there. Just to get that mouth to stand out a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm going to take the lip, the top of the mouth, and tuck it under the cheek. That's why I took that line out there. Still got to clean up this side here because it's just not going the way I want over here. I'm going to clean him up a little. Now right in here I'm going to take out because I want a little bit deeper inside the mouth. I'm going to get some hard lines in there. All right. And this is hard to not bang in this stuff. And really need this camera out of my way, guys. Working on the overhead uh, setup. In between making videos, I just decided, yep, that's what I'm going to need. So, that's another project on my list. Get this camera the heck out of my way. All right. Then I can carve without being at an angle and trying to keep it in the light and not, not bumping the camera every five seconds. Okay, so I'm starting to get this the way I want it. All right, and again, you could use a small ball. Dig that out as much as you want, that mouth. Get them te teeth to actually be noticeable, all right? That's what we're doing there. Yeah, he's looking pretty good. Okay, let's dig his nose out a little bit with the cylinder bit, all right? Okay, what I'm going to do is try and dig these eyes out a little bit more. So I'm going to take myself a gouge here. Now you can use, I'm going to do down here too. But uh, when you want to get the type of effect I'm going for, if you're using power carver, I would use a metal ball like this, just a Dremel ball, right? Or you could use a cutsel ball. Okay. But uh, I want to come under the eyes. And I basically want to scoop that out a little bit. All right, lower this down. I'm trying to stay down below that eye because I want those eye bags. Okay. So I'm just taking a little bit of wood out by rolling my gouge there. Taking this down a little bit. Going right on the side of the nose here and going in. All right. Just like that. I'm scooping some of that out. All right. Now, what I'm going to do from there, oh, let's try and get these eye bags in a little bit more. 
So I'm looking, let me see, I'm looking for a rounded gouge, rounded gouge. I don't know if this will work. Right about here in the corner, I'm gonna take this rounded gouge, all right? I'm gonna push it in right there. Where we have that little hook at the end of the eyebrow or eyelid. I'm gonna scoop that out a little bit. I'm gonna try to take some of that wood out right in there. And a little on the side. Let's go around and make a stop cut. Because I want to have that kind of hang. Down and over top, we're going to blend this in. It's a shame that piece broke out because I'm into the grit over here. So I'm going to try the same on this side. I get a little bit of a hook. Push a stop cut in there. And I'm just going to try to get that to overhang a little bit. Okay. To give him a little more character on the sides. I think I need a little more on this side right here. I'm gonna push it in. I'm trying to dig a little bit of wood out of there without breaking it off. Okay. Yeah, now I can round this over. All right, what I'm going to do here is I'm <clears throat> going to go around and I'm going to cut this beard in with my V-tool. If I can keep from slipping here. All right, I'm just going to make a line around that face and dig it in a little bit more. Now right here, by the eyelids, I want to keep that. Okay, because I want to keep it pretty close to his face here and suck that cheek into there, so... Probably about like this. All right. And over here with the cheeks, I think I'm just gonna make that face dig in over here. And we'll start it here. On this side. I'll leave that for like that for now. So I play with my knife there and see what I want. Uh -oh. easier to dig like this see I'm using my V tool I have my thumb on the end here so no matter how far I dig it's not going to go any further because when I push my hand my thumb stops it so I'm not going to go wham and hit myself I've seen a lot of people do that so use your thumb as a as a stop okay whenever you have to do such a thing Even if I'm holding it here, <clears throat> it'll only go as far as I allow it. All right, so safety's paramount with carbon tools. You know what? I think I'm going to cut this right here a little more. Now, to explain what I did a little, if you can see, right in here underneath, I had taken a gouge, and I remember I had put it here dug it in a little bit and went up underneath. So I had this little hang, this overhang here of these eyelids. All right, and I just kind of rounded them off, the eyeballs off with my gouge here a little bit as I'm going. <clears throat> I know this video is long, but I'm trying to show you a little bit of everything uh, that we're doing here. Now I can come around, I'm gonna clean that up with my knife, and then we're gonna put some hair in here. And the way I would do the hair is I would take a nice big gouge Okay, and I would make some gullies. Now, I'm not going to overdo him in the beard area here, but I don't want them to just be flat. So I'm going to dig them up a little bit with this tool first and try and get some of that area down before I run hairlines in there. And I'm also going to take it out on the sides where I had the V tool so that beard sticks out underneath here. Okay, there. And I'm gonna go around here. And again, using my thumb to stop the tool too. 
Okay. So that way I don't end up jabbing myself as I scoop. See the effect that's starting to make that hair stand out here and take a little bit out at the bottom here at the point. And whatever stays there will give it a neat effect, like on this side. Okay. Now I can dig that in with my knife. Over here on the sides. You see those little eyebrow hooks that we have here? Or the eyelid hooks? And, uh... Once you get to that point, then you can just run your knife in and you could dig that beard in. Okay, stop cut. Get your removal cut and let that beard stick out. Okay, around the sides there. Okay. The same with over here. Make a stop cut and then push that right into your stop cut. So when you take it out, you get some nice shadow going around that face, okay? This will get that beard to get a nice crisp line going around it. As we, as we set his face in, all right? All right, here under the cheek, I'm gonna roll and get that to go underneath. So it goes right in. And we're going to try and blend by his mouth here. Now, the big thing with the mouth is if it's not standing out enough, I'm going to actually undercut it even more with my knife in spots. I'm going to do a stop cut. And again, just a removal cut so I can get that lip to stand out. Right? I might have to go around the mouth and do that, especially in the corners. Okay. Because I definitely want that to stand out. And then once I clean up inside with my knife with in the teeth. It looked pretty good. So I'm going to go around with my knife. And I'm basically just going to bring out all his little features that we already carved in. All right, blend everything in as I'm doing here. And I'll put some hair with a V-tool in some of these grooves, okay? And we'll split that up, break it up nice, so he has a little bit of hair in his beard, okay? I'm going to go around and cut everything in. It's already cut in. I'm just deepening the lines that I already have carved to make everything stand out. And I'll clean up around his teeth here. Now the eyes, I'm gonna put a couple of wrinkles here with the V-tool. Okay. And of course on the eyebrows, I'll probably take that same, a nice tool that's a little bit rounded. I'll come up here and I'll push that nose up underneath them. Okay. And then once I can get the depths and everything I want going around following the same cuts I already have made. I'll finish everything off with a light sand with a piece of 220. And I'll push all this up into the stop cut up here. Okay. So that way, you know, the more I dig him in, the more depth I get, the cooler he's going to look. All right. One last point is right here. I'm going to really want that mouth to go under these cheeks and have the cheeks hang over. So I'm kind of doing the same thing here with a stop cut. And then I'm going to suck those cheeks way underneath and out by the nose here. I'm going to give myself some shadow. By taking a small chip out here. Well, one, two, pop it out. See that shadow? So I'm going to go around and do 
things like that, and just kind of hone them. And we'll see what we end up with. There's only one more thing I can tell you, I think. Uh, unless you want to sit here and just watch me carve the whole thing. I know some people are probably clicking off by now. I go on and on and ramble. Round those eyeballs down into that bottom lid. Run your knife across it. Clean them up. <laughs> if you didn't... Put a stop cut there, put a stop cut there, across that line, round those eyelids, uh, those eyeballs. Make sure they go down inside that lid. We can always clean that up with the, the little drill bit, remember? So I'm going to make sure I get the nice little round part of those eyeballs. And then what I do is once I get them satisfactory I'll take a micro gouge okay so the, this is a dockyard micro gouge and I'll punch some irises in there pushing it straight in popping it out okay over here I think I'll clean that eyeball up a little more I really can't see but I know it's uh not where I want it yet before I punch a iris in so See how I flip the gouge over and use it to scrape with? It's the shape of that eyeball. So I make sure that's nice and round before I even put my iris in there. Okay. can clean up other stuff later, but that you want round. I'm going to take this one. Push them in there. Now I should have two... Nice little eyeballs. I can pop those out with my knife. And if it's not dark enough, you just recut it. If you don't have enough shadow there. Okay. And that's how we get our pupils in there and our irises. And again, go around and clean up those eyes. Okay, so that right there is going to be pretty much uh, how I do one of these guys. All right. And then after I do all that and I clean them up pretty good with my knife and everything, what I do is I take a little, my wood burner and I'll lightly go around some of the detail and everything. And then I'll sand it off with 220, like I said. And uh, I pretty much end up with, you know, a design. Uh, if I can get this out of the, which is all dirty. And the end result is this guy. So I hope I gave you some tips. I know it was a long video. Thanks for sticking around. Hope you learned something. Hope I could help you. Any questions, give me a comment. If you like more videos like this, definitely hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the little bell so you're notified each and every time we put out a new video. So until the next one. Thanks for watching. This is Kevin from Sticks and Stones, and I will see you later.